Okay. Well, the powers that be said, okay. So here we go. I'm going to begin my self-portrait dragon. I want my dragon. I'm going to borrow a bunch of different uh, styles here. I want my dragon to have, I want to be able to get the whole face in there. So I'm going to come down from the page a little bit here. And I'm going to draw my little dragon's head shape, which is kind of still kind of a little bit like an ice cream cone. It's going to be facing down a little bit. Okay. Facing down. So like if this is the center line, there we go. That's like my center line, little ice cream cone down. So I can do a little, I'll be able to do some horns. I want to make sure I have room for some horns. Self-portrait Geo Dragon is going to have some horns. And then a neck that curls around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tube workshop. I think the most valuable thing that we did in our time here was the tube workshop. Captain Joe of the tube warehouse. Just so helpful. There we go. I'm still still working out my tube, my tube workshop materials here. I know, I know. It looks like it looks like it's just raining. It looks like somebody attached a bunch of streamers to my dragon, but I don't know which one of these lines I like yet. I think I'm finally finding it. This is <laughs> literally how I draw things, you guys. Oh man. If you were here on Wednesday and you got to hear Amelia, I had uh there was like I had a very inspiring moment when she was talking. Uh, the name of the website? Uh, the name of the website is drawdragon.org. Uh, please repeat what you said at the beginning of the class um, um, from Lucas. Okay, sorry. I hope, I hope everybody's got it. I'm going to send out emails to folks. I'll send out updates on the website. I'll send out updates um, on the Facebook page and um, give me your email if you'd like me to send you email updates directly or your parents' email might be more helpful. Let them deal with the email side of things. You can focus on just drawn dragons. All right, so here's my dragon, my big serpent dragon. Anyway, one of the things that, that Amelia said that just really was important to me um, was that you people have this idea that Artists know how to draw everything, um, but nobody knows how to draw everything. References, you have to look at what you wanna draw. I don't like this whole thing. I gotta change all of this because I want, I want to have some arms out here. I need to get an arm over here. I need a hand right here to hold my comic book. And it's gotta come up here. And if my body's way over here, then my, my dragon's arm is going to be super weird. I can't have that. So bear with me as I have to erase and replan everything. You know? Erase a dragon. Stella was right. We should have just called it Erase Dragons with Gio Benedetti. And then over here, got that cup of coffee. Yeah. So here's a shoulder. I'm going to come over this with my, with my pen so you guys can see. But have fun scribbling on your page with me. This is going to be the basic pose of my dragon. And I want my dragon to have a, a heavy metal t-shirt on. So I'm going to give it a big old collar here. And here's the sleeves on that shirt. And then this is where the design will be. So whatever the name of the band is will be like right in here. And a wing and a wing. Okay, here we go. I need to do some erasing and it's only 10, 10. It's only 10 minutes after 10. And we already need to, I need to go over here and get some erasing jam music happening. Good golly. I think I broke a record today. Hopefully you guys don't have so much to erase. Me? I gotta erase. I gotta erase all over the place. This line that went back here was too far away to be able to pose the body the way that I wanted to. So we had a massive reconfiguration. 
It's, it's this bend up here after the neck that's really got, got me, got my eraser going today. Cool. Now, now I'm ready. I can do some more erasing so that I can come over with my pen. I don't need this hand over here. This one just took away. You know what? The comic book. Yeah, that's, it's going to be good. It's gonna be, we got it now. I'm ready. When you guys are doing this, just think about the things that you like. Think about what, if you don't want to do this pose, that's totally fine. But because the th I'm trying to get in like little symbols of things that I like in this. And I just think it's really funny to have a dragon reading a comic book and drinking coffee. Um, but if you, if you want to just be like a ferocious dragon roaring and breathing fire, that's super rad. I think you should do that. Okay. But here's my basic plan. And now I just need to go to my face cam just really quick so I can see just what's happening with the scraggly gray hair and stubble. Okay, I got it. Now let's put that on the dragon. <laughs> okay, so it's like, it's kind of it's kind of like a little bit messy and it's kind of wavy and it kind of comes around over here and it just like kind of runs off in all sorts of directions. And then we got some, I got some nostrils for sure. Um, put an eye over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe some little uh, sleepy lines under the eye. And then, you know what? Because I also really like those Chinese dragons. I want to I wanna have, if I was a dragon, I would want one of those really cool Chinese dragon mustaches. So I'm going to give myself one of those here. Coming off over here, too. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I would one of those cool little frills down there. There's my and then maybe I'd get some like cool horns coming up out of the out of the scraggly hair. There we go. Yeah, get some more scraggly hair going back there. And then I want some spikes. I like spikes. I'll have some scales. Uh get a wing back there. And then I, I need a comic book. And you know what? Because because Lex came over and um, was so cool as to let us draw his really fun comic characters, I'm going to be reading Kid Beowulf. That's the comic that I'll I'll have here. And then over here in this arm, cup of coffee. This is a mess right now, but please understand if your drawings aren't a mess when you're thinking about them, then I, I don't know how you're drawing. How are you drawing? How did you get the idea already? Where are the pages that you did all your messy stuff on to get to the really clean page? That's what I want to know. Okay, I'm ready. Now, if you were waiting for me to finish scribbling, that is totally fine. Junie and Hazel Stevenson. We're doing a self-portrait dragon today. So my dragon is gonna be a combination of just things that I like about dragons. If you guys wanna copy my pose, that's great, but please put your own things in there. I really hope that not everybody uh, draws a geo dragon. That would, that would be the wrong idea here. So I've got my black pen to hopefully make this more clear. And here is the dragon's head. Now. For you, you can put whatever hairstyle you would want your dragon, your personal dragon to have. For me, because I think it'll be funny if, I'm, if I meld my dragon imagination with my real life world, I'm putting uncombed uh, grayish, hasn't had a haircut in a long time dragon hair on my dragon. Trying to make it look like my hair a little bit. Okay, so that's what I'm doing with all these marks. When I try and make, um, I don't usually make just big shapes for the hair. I like to make hair out of lots of little lines. And you don't need to make lines everywhere, right? But I'm going to create the outline of where the hair is going to be with all of these little showings of the basic 
curvature of the hair. See how these lines curl up? And now here, there's nothing. This is where the middle is. And then it starts to fall off on this side. That's how I like to make my hair. And then over here, we had an eyeball, a dragon eyeball. Here's the other side of my, uh, my dragon's head. Let's give me some little, I want some spikes coming down the middle. There's a big nostril coming down to a point. I would definitely want to be able to breathe fire. So I'm going to have, there'd be smoke coming out. I'll, I'll do some little wisps once I'm, once I'm ready for it. Here's my cool Chinese dragon style mustache that just curls and waves off into the distance and gets very thin at the end. And then here I'll pick it up and bring it in. Uh, what, does it come out? I guess it'll come out right there. But this will be the, this will be in front of everything, this little mustache in front of the coffee, in front of the comic book. I'm kind of smiling because I have coffee and I'm reading a comic book. So that's, that's pretty sweet. What day are we doing dragon drawing? I think I'm going to aim for Friday. I'm, when I start sending out information for next week, my thought right now is to do this time slot Friday. So Friday at 10 a.m. to be like the new, the time where we can all get together and maybe draw a dragon, okay? And hopefully that works for you. If it doesn't work for you, you will let me know when I send that email out. You'll be like, that's a terrible time for me. It's not going to work. Um, I need it to be Thursdays at two. I'm going to just put some, these are like little scales and stuff that I'm putting on my face to make me drag any. Oh, here's those little, I need more sleep lines. I want to get those under the eye for sure. I do like to smile and laugh. So I'm going to give myself some little smile crinkles in the corner there. And then, um, there's my eyeball. I look a little serious and mean, but that's okay. Sometimes I can be um mean and serious oh i would love to do some more comics of sir chauncey but i also like doing them with you guys i don't like doing them by myself necessarily so we'll figure it out here's like some little beard stubble stuff coming off down here and then my beard stubble is gonna now you might not have beard or stubble <laughs> a lot of you don't have stubbly beards so down here you can put little spikes here my beard and stubble is eventually going to give way to uh an actual dragon frill. I'll call it a frill. Okay, put, put a little frill on there. I got to get my dragon horns. Put whatever kind of dragon horns you guys like for your self-portrait dragon. I think I like these horns. My favorite kind of horns are like the really wavy ones. They look like, um, Oh, like those, there's a bunch of savanna animals that have like really cool wavy horns that I like, but I'm not going to give myself those because they won't fit on my page. So it's looking, it's looking a little bit like a rat dragon right now. Hey, Junie and Hazel, you guys should put your email, send, give me an email address that I can send stuff to, and then we can work out, you know, we can figure out details. Okay. So basically the face and hopefully you guys can get a face with some nostrils and stuff on it i'm gonna put my little smoke things in there now make sure you know that if i wanted to i could breathe fire okay now i'm gonna give myself my spikes going down my back here's the back line and it's curling around and then i remember i gotta stop here because i have a t-shirt on <laughs> My, my dragon's wearing a t-shirt. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So this is the collar of the t-shirt. I'm, I'm over-exaggerating all of these shapes because I really want you to just understand what's happening. Okay, now that I've done the collar, I'll make... There's my dragon body. Big old dragon neck coming down. So here's the scales right? Here are my dragon scales. But of course, you're not going to see them once I get to the, the collar. This is another way that you'll be able to know that something is happening there is the scales will stop. 
And it'll look good if I can show you that they're disappearing into that, right? Just totally disappearing in there. All right. Just some more little scale lines. Here's the here's my belly scales. My little belly scales. All right, and then t-shirt. The t-shirt will be fun. Before I get to the t-shirt though, I want to do these things in the front. So I wanna make sure that I get my cup of coffee. And my cup of coffee is sadly empty right now. You guys hear that? That was me slurping out the very last sips of coffee. So here's what my coffee mug really looks like. But because I'm doing a self-portrait and I wanna make sure that people know that this is coffee, I'm gonna take liberties. Okay, so here's a thumb and here are dragon fingers. curling around the handle to the coffee mug. And then the coffee mug will, will say something on it. Like, um, uh, if you talk to me before I get my coffee, I'll breathe fire on you <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> yeah. And if, if you guys want to send, uh, Mopani just, uh, sent, uh, you can send private messages in the chat. So I encourage you if, um, I think everybody here is pretty trustworthy, but you can send me a private message with that email on it. And that's a, that's a good way to do it. So here's a little elbow horn. There's my arm. And now here, here's that shirt. See how I'm putting all these different little lines on it? That's how you know that this is fabric, wrinkly fabric. Okay. And then how it's coming into the, um, up here, attaching to the main body of the shirt. Okay. There's my arm, here's my shirt. I'm gonna put some folds on the shirt here. Folds on the shirt. Anything you can do, to, you, when you kind of break it up, you think, oh, that might be a spot where there'd be a little fold on a shirt. Yeah, maybe right there. Go ahead and do that. So steam coming up from my nose. You gotta have some steam coming up from my coffee. I'm kind of taking up all the space that I had planned for the, the metal band logo. So I, I'm only going to give my drag and draw buddies one guess as to what metal band, what fake metal bands t-shirt I'm wearing. Anybody who's been keeping notes with me, who's been taking notes with our fake dragon themed metal band. Gabriel the cat for the win. <laughs> I'm wearing, I'm going to have my dragon me is going to be wearing an official dragon skull <laughs> t-shirt. The fake metal band for whom we have been coming up with really cool song titles for the last two months. Dragon skull. So I think that the dragon skull logo and like the letters would be like really cool and pointy. So I'm going to make like, I'm going to get my nice. That's like the D. And then the R will also be pointy. And the A will be pointy. And you guys can definitely, there's the G. There's the O, pointy, 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 pointy. As soon as you make a curved line, dragon, and then down here, it looks like da baggin, da baggin because of the steam that's there, but you guys know what I'm talking about. S is going to be hidden behind the mustache. Skull. And it look, looks like a V, but that's cool, right? That's dragon skull. And then maybe on the shoulder, there'll be like a picture of a dragon skull. So now these are like super custom details for my, <laughs> for my self-portrait. I hope you guys are having fun doing, uh, Okay, so that's like that's like their logo. There's the dragon skull there. Maybe there's like more stuff here, but it's behind the coffee cup, so you can't see it. 
Okay, but I got my I got my heavy metal shirt on. Lizard gourd. <laughs> yes, I have that written down too. In my notes, I have um I tried to write down, I forgot a whole bunch of them, but I wrote down a bunch of the uh band names. Uh actually I think I just have Dragon Skull and Lizard Gourd. Oh, but we also came up with like an indie rock band name. I forget what it was called. It was something when we were doing the crystal, crystal dragon. And then we did some um uh all the song names too so i've got all those details those are those are logged in okay now i gotta have my drag my, my dragon's reading a comic book my dragon happens to be reading kid beowulf and because this is a fantasy land lex is already done with his fourth book Here's all the pages. Oh, you know what I, my favorite part is when you're, I'm just starting. So I'm going to put a bunch of pages over there and I'm only going to put like one page on this side. I just started. Maybe, maybe I, I went through the introduction and then I just started. So let's put some more pages over here. It's like 200 pages in that book. And maybe like something there. Maybe like some little designs along the spine. Here's where my t-shirt comes down over my dragon belly. Um, I'm trying to think of like some cool things that I could put down here for my dragon skull shirt, but I'm not thinking of anything right now. So I'm going to put some, this is the sleeve of my other arm right over there. And you know what? On, on a coffee mug, if you want Guns N' Roses. <laughs> uh, Ophelia and Ramona were going to say Guns N' Roses. That would have been good. Megalodon. Great. Lizard Gourd. Great. Oh, man. See? You guys, if you if we look back over the last two months of how many great ideas have been come up with by this group of dragon drawers, it's it's disproportionate. You know, we've probably taken more good ideas from the pool of good ideas than most people do in a year. And it only took us our combined powers. That's how powerful we are with our combined imagination. It only took us two months. Okay, so there's my wing coming off. If you guys want to make a wing coming off of your dragon, you can. Um, I want to do Kid Beowulf, but I want to actually do it the way that it it looks. So I want to um, try and copy his logo. Kid Beowulf, I write into the search engine because I don't know what it looks like otherwise. And I see what the the title looks like. And now I can come back and draw it. So the kid part is small and in the middle. And then the Beowulf is big. And then it gets smaller in the middle and then gets bigger. Those last letters get big again. And then there's like cool things happening down here with creatures and you got like Beowulf's down here and he's got like a sword or something and then um, Grendel's over there and then there's like that big dragon that we drew it's like this and some other stuff there's like a big pile of gold and all sorts of stuff and then over here on the back covers where they always write, have like a picture of something and then everybody says this is the best book ever and then another picture of another person who's like oh, I thought it was the best and then there's some stuff just put stuff on there. That's just a bunch of stuff. Tongues and Roses. <laughs> Tongues and Roses is a good name for a band. Uh, I got to put something on my coffee mug and I'm trying to think about what that would be. And um, I think in order to make it just really clear, here's what I'm going to have it say. Now, because it's on a circle, I'm going to have it trying to follow the shape coffee or 
die. That's kind of how it feels these days. So that's going to be, <laughs> that's my coffee mug. <laughs> okay. If I can think of some other ideas. Oh, you know what we should have lying, um, standing up in the back of my room here. I should, I should put myself in a room and we should put uh, a base back here. If you guys want to know what um, my base looks like, one of them has been standing behind me this entire time. Not fake, it's real. <laughs> it's, it's not just a prop. And then I have another one that I play a bunch and it's just sitting right here. I have a whole rack of them. So here's the other bass. So I'm gonna put my basses in my picture because I really like playing music. It's just been a long time that I haven't been able to play any music. So I'm gonna get those in my picture. And dearest Komodo dragon, tomorrow is Saturday and we're not gonna do any dragon tomorrow unless you guys are just drawing dragons for funsies. Wait, what is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Saturday, right? Isn't <laughs> today Friday? <laughs> Don't mess with me, guys. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, so here's my big base in the back. But in my fantasy dragon world, carved on the top of my base would be, you guessed it, a dragon. Okay, so here the neck comes down and for all of the stuff in the background i got to try and use small lines because if you use big the same size lines in your background that you do in your foreground it'll get really confusing for people trying to see it they'll think that it's as close and as important as the stuff up front and it's not so if you guys draw an upright base in your picture i will be really confused i'll be like wait why do you have an upright base in your self-portrait do you play the upright bass? I'm really hoping that you guys are going to have your own stuff and you'll be able to explain it when we go to show and tell. It's actually the part I'm looking most forward to today. So we'll put a bass back here. And this, if, if this was real, there would just be books and stuff all over the floor, maybe papers here and there. Really just stacks of books, books and papers. That's usually what everything looks like. And some dirty laundry. Let's put some dirty laundry over here. This is a pile of dirty laundry. Uh-huh. Who's got time to... You know, when there's so many dragons that need drawing, who's got time to do the laundry? So I got to put a bunch of stuff in there. And then back here, next to my next to that base, I'm going to put a little... Um, there's a little stand. Some little hooks that come up. And I'll put my other base over there. My base doesn't look exactly like this, but as long as I get the idea that I got a base back there, I'll be happy. Meow, 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 meow. Four strings. Okay. So now I'm getting some of my stuff up there. Maybe there's some pictures on the wall. I have a lot of pictures on my wall. Most of them were done by my daughters. So I'll put some pictures up on the wall. Here's my other wing. Oh, I got some pictures on the wall over here. Okay. I don't think I can get anything else into my into my drawing. Aaron, you play the violin? That's awesome. Violin is, people have told me, and I believe it, the hardest instrument in the world to play. So go for it. Once you've done that, everything else is easy. All right, folks, it's 1035. It's 1035. Do you know where your dragon is? Mopani, you play, I know. So if, if anybody out there is in Waldorf schooling, playing the violin is like something that you just do. So I'm gonna do this. I know we already did this once, but I'm gonna go back to this for a sec. My dancing moves. Um, I'm gonna do some erasing, but also just want to remind you that like I hope your dragon looks however you want it to look. You can follow my pose and put stuff in your dragon's hands, but I'm really hoping we get a variety of self-portrait dragons here. Um, so I'm kind of I'm not really showing you guys very much of how to draw this stuff because I don't think you need to know how to draw an upright base for your self-portrait dragon. And this one put a vial. I mean make a really tiny version of that and it could be a violin. 
I'm going to just try and get rid of some of these. I had a lot of scribbly planning lines today. I want to try and get rid of some of them just to clean up what I got here so I can see what in the world is actually happening underneath, underneath the scribbles. You know what? I got to put a pupil in that eye. I got to make it look like I have a heart and a soul. Right now, I look like kind of an evil hey, coffee and comics, which, which is accurate a lot of the time. But sometimes, sometimes I also have a soul. So I got to play in that with a pencil. No matter what, this oh, maybe if I get a little, yeah, we got to get a top eyelid on there. That's better. Okay. If I had done this without a top eyelid, you would have had a really creepy, scary looking dragon. As it is, it's still going to be a little creepy and scary. But not. Okay. That's the top eyelid there. There. That's a much more friendly friendly looking dragon but it really took that that eyelid to do it for me because this eyebrow was, was pretty uh pretty mean. okay a few more erases to do on this wing okay good good to go and perfect timing. That's how it ought to be. <laughs> What's the difference between fiddle and violin? No difference. Instruments the same, techniques the same, the material really. It's just the material that's different. Fiddle players are not necessarily expected to know Mozart violin concertos. And classical violinists are not necessarily supposed to know how to play Bonaparte's Retreat. Different material, different way of expressing the exact same instrument. It is so funny though that the same instrument is called two totally different things. I'm gonna need, all my pencils are, are chopped up, you guys. I've been, I've been having a lot of coloring done with these, not necessarily by me. So I just gotta do a little, a little prep here on my pencils and then I'm gonna dig in I'm digging in on my dragon. I love red dragon. So I want to be a red dragon. That's what I'm going for. Look at these ordinary pencils thinking they can hang out in here with my colored pencils. Get out of there. Can you believe it? The nerve. The noive. All right. All right. Let's get that out of there. Get that pencil tray out of there. All right, I got my uh, I got my colored pencils ready to go. I'm gonna start with a base layer all over the dragon part of my dragon. Cause I want to be a red dragon. I wanna be a red dragon. What color dragon would you guys be if you could be any color dragon? And why? You know what? If I if I owned a company, if you wanted to come work for me at Draw Dragon Incorporated, that would be one of the interview questions. You would come in and you'd have like in your suit and tie and you'd be all nervous. And I'd say, tell me, if you could be any kind of dragon, what kind of dragon would you be and why? And that would be the only part of the interview. And then after you told me that, I would say hired or fired based on that one question. That's it. It's all that we need to know about each other. This is going to be dragon, dragon skin over here on the wing. This is t-shirt. Don't forget about my t-shirt. Notice how I'm not coloring over my t-shirt, but here's where the arm is sticking out from the t-shirt. Those are my dragon fingers. 
Dragon thumb. Dragon arm. Dragon fingers. And here was the wing poking up back on the other side. All right. Blue. Blue. Blue, blue. <laughs> I would love to know why. Why, wolf and dragon lover, would you be? Why would you be a blue dragon? I don't know what it is about. Red dragons have just always, they just, the fire aspect of it. I like the color red, I guess. Even though almost always I'm wearing black t-shirts. That's not my fault though. All the bands that I like just have black t-shirts. If they had more red t-shirts, I'd probably buy more red t-shirts. And... Yeah. Yep. 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 I'm going in with the exact same color and I'm darkening in. So this, this stuff down here underneath the lip, that would be darker. There'd be some darker stuff. Did you see how I went in under the hair first and darkened in all the stuff under the hair? That was the first place that I darkened up. I'm going to leave the top lighter. And as I come down here, it's going to get a little darker down there on the, the collar. We'll say it'll be a little bit darker here on the underside of this wing. It'll be much darker down here on the underside of all these fingers and on the underside of this forearm and back here and on the underside of all these fingers. Okay. All right, what's next? I got you. I I never colored my pictures. I'm going to tell you when I was drawing, I just did everything. Everything was like just my pencils. That was everything. I need some dark blue and some black. And uh Oh, where's my black colored pencil, you guys? No oh, curses. Well, we got something close. Oh, there it is. Here's the hair. Is there, there might be a little bit of brown left up there, but mostly it's silver in the front. So if, if I want it to look white, then I got to put some gray in there, right? Because it's mainly like grayish, whitish silver. And then there's some darker patches in the back. This is just for me. I don't think, I don't think you guys are there yet. And coming over here, coming over here. <laughs> and I'm going to come down here. I got some more coming over here. There, that's good. That That's giving you a good impression of the, the Gio Benedetti dragon hairstyle. And then the t-shirt. T-shirt would be black. Trust me. I know how these bands work. Although the skull would probably be white, to be fair. And... Dragon Skull. Man, that last concert they did was so good. Love that band. I never miss a show. Is it 1045? It's 11.45 for you. Yes. Yes, that's right. Colorado, is that right? Ramona, Ophelia. I think you guys were Colorado, if I remember right. But I don't usually remember right, so feel free to correct me. Yeah, it's 10.45 over here. 10.45 and we're staying alive. Do, 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 do. I hope you guys are... Um, this, this shading stuff is always just fun. You could take literally all day on it. I'm going to take literally 10 minutes on it. Um, just trying to tuck in darker where the light, I'm just imagining I'm in my room. So the lights would be coming from up above. Yeah. Not everybody's in California. Not everybody's a Californian around here. 
we've had people pop in from all over. We had a couple Ohioans show up once upon a time. My collar, we got to get black. The black collar has got to happen. Okay. And then I would like to get some gold in my dragon. Some little beautiful golden orangey stuff. And it just makes all the red richer. You know, it's so nice. Just brings it all out. This is fun stuff to do if you have paints to try just mixing your colors up because this will happen too in your paints if you're ever doing watercolors or acrylics. But colored pencils do it very well also. My arm, my dragon arm. Okay. And then I'm going to go for orange and I'm going to go to yellow will be the color that I mix with here in the belly scales. And maybe I'll get my little dark blue. I have that fun dark blue and black for my, um, for the horns, just to make them look kind of like grayish. So there's the blue. And then here's the black. And it would be really dark because the hair would, would sh shadow some of it. And then if the light's coming down from above, just something like that. Something pretty basic. Hey, what's up with you, Nostril? How come you didn't get any colors? Sleeping on the job here. Fort Collins, Colorado. Fort Collins is a great town. I've gotten to visit there several times. Sometimes with the family, sometimes just with the band, but always a lovely time. I'm going to give myself a, um, a bright yellow mustache. I want it to show up. Maybe this is like the one thing that I, maybe I go to the dragon stylist and get my mustache dyed bright yellow. If I remember from the kid Beowulf, there's like a pile of gold down here. And then there's lots of blues and purples and greens going on. So I'm just going to, and then the, the words are red. So I'm just going to kind of pretend like I remember what's going on in here. And I'm going to put some greens and stuff in there. I think the Grendel character is green. And then maybe there's some purple. I don't know. I think I think the dragon has some purple in it. I'm just going to put some purple in there because I have this recollection of purple. But I'm not going to go check the original. And then I'm going to make the letters red. I just I have a good feeling about this. <laughs> I don't know how accurate that is, but hopefully it's pretty good. And then I'll make the, the back cover will be blue also. And then my coffee or die mug, coffee or die. That's gonna be brown, just like coffee. Although to be fair, it's like, it's pretty much black. It only turns brown when you put the milk in. Otherwise, it just looks dark black. Coffee or die. Okay, so there's my coffee cup. Feeling good about my dragon. Now, I got to do the background, I don't want you to pay any attention to the to the background. Um, you know what? I need to get this wing. You need to know that this wing is part of the dragon, so I got to put the red on there. Um. The, the band that I used to uh, travel around and tour with, I do not do that anymore. I, I left the band a couple years ago, but that band was called The Brothers Comatose. 
it's really fun those guys are still out there touring and making music and traveling around you'll see them they'll be in fort collins or i don't know if they still go to fort collins but they definitely colorado was always a, a great state to, to travel to and denver and boulder were usually the two places that we would stop um but i'm not in that band anymore now i'm in a different band my new band is called bronze metal hopefuls it's really fun funky instrumental jams and then i get to tell stories to introduce each song because when your songs don't have any words you can just say they're about whatever i like that part of it okay so there's the wing and for the background here's what i'm going to do for the background you guys i'm going to get my oranges and my light brown i know it's in here somewhere i saw it i saw it i have like this kind of grayish brown one I guess it's this, it's the same. I don't want the same as that. All right, so here, here it is. I'm gonna tone everything back here, oranges and browns. So this background is gonna be background, total background. If you guys watch, like the, the if you guys are, are, are cartoon watchers, there's so much art that's happening around you guys all the time. But if you start paying attention to how it's put together, look at, say, a Disney movie or a Pixar movie or a DreamWorks animated movie where everything is drawn. Every single background is going to have all the details. Every single thing is going to have, it's going to be beautifully lit and shadowed and everything. And then take a look at, uh, a, a show that you like, a cartoon series that you like, where they make a bunch of episodes and they have to keep making episodes. And look at how much more simple everything gets, okay? So here's my background. It's got some color to it now, so it'll be it'll it'll kind of leap out a little bit. But now what I'll do with another shade of kind of the same thing is I'll come in and I'll just put like some like basic shadows in there. Maybe I'll take the brown to do the basic shadows. Yeah, that's a little better. Just some little basic shadows to show you that like, oh yeah, this stuff is, Ooh, actually I like, I liked both of them. This stuff has got, there's stuff going on in here, but you don't really care about it. It's not completely one dimensional. As soon as I put this next layer of shadows in there, it becomes something more, right? So now instead of it just being a flat background, it's getting a little bit of shape, but it's not so much that it's distracting you from the main thing that's happening up front. It's enough to make it look like, oh yeah, you'll you'll go with me in this illusion that there's a thing happening back there. And then maybe each of these pictures has like a little doohickey on it just to make it so that you know that they're not bricks. They have, there's some things happening. And then I'll come back with my darker brown and add that in where I think, Maybe this is like a tree or something up there. See how I'm just really just scribbling the idea of there may be a thing back there. But the end result I really like because I, I get to have a background. And it has a little bit of character and detail to it, but it still stays in the background. And I get to have all my stuff. Okay. This has been... Draw Dragons, final weekly show of the weekly 10 a.m. every weekday schedule. I will not be back on Monday. We're aiming for next Friday, a week from today. And I'll be sending out information. So if anybody hasn't given me an email address and they'd like to be in touch about any or all of this stuff, please do grab a parent. If, uh, if you don't have an email address, grab a parent, tell them to get their email address on there. And we'll do that. And then my, oh man, the part I've been looking forward to since we started is the show and tell share of this. I would love to see some self-portrait dragons out there. So once again, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to play some end credits. Oh yeah. And let's look at how close we got. Pretty close, right? I mean... Same hair. Although my hair is longer than when I made this puppet. This is Geo two months ago puppet. But we got the black heavy metal shirt. Check. 
Nice comic. Got some bases. I, Puppet Geo, approve Dragon Geo. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for drawing a dragon with me. It's been fun. I hope you've got a cool dragon over there on your end to share. And hopefully I'll see you next week. And hopefully we'll be in touch. Drawdragon.org will have all the information. Drawdragon.org or the Facebook page. One or the other. And holler, holler, holler. Thank you for sending me those emails. Send that email over. Geo at drawdragon.org is my email address, by the way. I'll come over to the, the camera and open my wind, my blinds. Oh. Drawadragon.org is the website. Geo at drawdragon.org is my email address. And um, then you guys can get in touch and we can keep drawing dragons and figure out a way to make it happen. Thank you so much for these last two months, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, every morning at 10 a.m. It's been awesome. And then remember that on the website, all of the uh, old classes are there. So if you want to go relive the magic, you can, except for those parts when the YouTube uh, stream just cut us off and we don't know why. <laughs> so check that out and let's do some show and tell. Hold those pictures up if you want to show them. <laughs>